Outdoor Fam. This weekend, we have come on another fishing trip um, to celebrate our anniversary. Um, it has been 16 years. <laughs> Just check it with the boss. It's been 16 years, you guys, and time has flown by. So, um, Chewie decided to take me on my favorite thing to do, our favorite thing to do together, and that is to go camping and fishing. Um, so we decided to come out to Beaver Lake, and uh, we camped at the River Dam site. Um, and we love this area because it's shaded. Um, it's the river side, so Beaver Lake is up yonder, if you will. And we fish down here on the river where it is nice and cool. The water stays a brisk 45-ish all year long. That's why we're able to fish for trout all year long here, you guys. Um, and they stock and they breed them here. Um, and so other than the slot limit, between 13 and 16 uh, inches, you cannot keep. Anything within that slot, you better not keep it. Um, above 16 inches, you're allowed to keep one, whether it's brown or rainbow. Um, so there are browns here, guys. That's exciting. Um, and there's lots of other fish, too. Um, certain times of year here, you can catch uh, walleye, which we can't wait to try to do that. Um, but this weekend's probably going to consist mostly of uh, trout fishing. Um, I believe we may do some Sierra-style jumping around, if you will. I think we were going to try to go to uh, War Eagle tomorrow and explore some new places along the White River that we haven't tried yet. So um, we're excited and uh, we'll be sure to show you in detail what we're doing, what our setups are, uh, what our approach and style is as far as these fish go. I did walk down by the water today and it is the lowest I've ever seen it, um, which is weird and bad, but also good because I feel like we can sight fish a lot. We can see where all the big rocks are. Um, I was able to see someone catch a fish just while we were down there, so I'm feeling hopeful. Um, we do have a little bit of rain in the forecast, so that could work for us or against us. Usually it works for us. As long as it stays hot, I don't care if it's raining. Um, I think that's awesome. So we're excited, guys. We are set up. We got our tent. We're just doing the tent camping today. And um, <clears throat> we are ready to go. We're going to get our gear together <clears throat> and see if we can do a little bit of fishing tonight before it gets dark. So we'll see you all, we'll see you all in a bit. Guys, this water is so clear, you would not believe. It's swimming right for sure. You may want to walk them over there to the other side. It's a little bit easier. Or you can do that. All right. Oh, we're going to need to do surgery. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy off. He's a little one, but we're gonna have to keep it because he swallowed it, so. All right, we'll see you on the next one. All right, Chewy's on now. Guys, we switched to a couple of uh, pink power balls after I jigged my heart out for a while and didn't have any luck. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, this water is so clear. I don't want to. He's a good size. Like, I mean, it. Oh. Yep, there we go. Oh, skilled release, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more. <laughs> All right, guys. So, as promised, I was going to go ahead and share what we're working with here. So, this is Chewy's pole, the one he just caught his fish on. This is the uh, Phoenix Elixir Series, and this is an eight foot, six inch pole, uh, two to eight pound test. Of course, we. Uh, we always suit up with a two pound test. And we were, we were gonna jig, so that's why we're using this rod. Here, you can probably go with like a six footer, six and a half, seven footer, it's not, you can fish with anything here really. Like this trout are not very hard to catch. They're just uh, small hooks. They will keep nibbling on your bait, but they won't take it all the time. So you gotta have your hands on the poles pretty much. I really wouldn't do anything over a size what, as far as hooks. 
Because uh, when we first started fishing a while ago, we were using hooks that were too big for their so little mouth. Size 10, size 8 work really well here. Um, you can get away with the 6, maybe. All right. Anyway. So then, uh, like we said, two pound test line. So we have a Carolina rig. Uh, we have a Carolina core, rig. Core round sway, uh, Carolina stopper. We have a size 10 hook over here. And then I use one of this pink uh, power balls. Guys, the power balls stay on there so much better than actual power bait. I cannot and even they, tell you. And they float. So I basically just put it all the way up to, to the eye of the hook. And then I learned this last time out, well, a couple trips ago, if you come in here, you get these um, gulp uh, night crawlers. And you just take a, take a small piece off of it. So you, you can use a whole thing, but some of the shot are really tiny, they won't be able to bite that. So I just bite, probably pinch off a piece about this big, and then I go ahead and put it on there, kind of like a makeshift uh, mice tail. And uh, right now the water is really low. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see. There's like a whole little yeah, see, community cool. swimming by that's here. Cool yep, it's so awesome. We can actually kind of sight fish here. And, uh, but yeah, you just kind of make like a homemade, uh, mice Make them tail. a little fish cocktail? Yeah, a little, little mice tail, kind of like that. And, uh, you just cast it out there. Like I said, the water's a little low, so our leader's only about 8 to 12 inches. If it, sometimes I'll make it smaller. But when the water's running through here, then we actually use like a two or three foot leader depending on the depth yep. of the water. But yep, that's right. pretty much it. So tomorrow we might try and, uh, we may keep some of them just to take them home for the kids and stuff. But uh, tonight we're spending the night. We didn't bring a whole lot of stuff. We try to keep it pretty minimal. So uh, we're gonna try and catch and release unless they, uh, unless they just gobble it up, which we're doing bait and wait. So that's gonna happen. So, uh, all right, we will catch you guys on the next one. pretty crazy though we're sitting here and like the fish are jumping around everywhere too like top water really works with them here yeah. you getting nibbles nope nope missed it oh see if it comes back but yeah the other side of this uh river is a lot deeper i know for sure because i saw someone waiting out there today I feel like we should go live. <laughs> if you guys want to see us go live on Facebook, uh, let us know in the comments. Oh, is that them nibbling? Yep. There we go. Got them. <laughs> Come on, little warrior. <laughs> Why don't you walk them over to the left side so you can... Uh... To the left side? Yeah. There That's he is. Shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't get Look, it's got another one following it. Might have to start mini jigging or double drop shotting just to try something different because this uh, bait and weight, it's almost every other cast. Hey, uh, <gasps> he got off. <laughs> Still released. Still released, guys. Only three minutes. Two casts later. You know, you need to put this uh, helmet cam on so that I can start fishing. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, this is a little tiny guy. I need to start getting him sooner. Yeah. He's actually longer than I thought, but he's still pretty small. Alright, let's see what we're working with here, doctor. So, a while ago I got bit by a brown recluse, really nasty bite, but I don't want to know what it would feel like to get bit by this guy. He is ginormous. I don't even want to know what that could do for you. Kelly, look at this. You want one to start with? <laughs> <laughs> he swallowed it. Look, Kelly. Kelly. What? Oh my gosh.
awesome looking spider, but I do not want to get bit by it. You definitely don't need it. It's right here. What a good one. Oh my god. Whoa. Where'd you go? Here, give me this. I'm on. All right, guys, Chewie's on. He was sitting here fascinated by this spider, not even realizing he was getting bites. <laughs> it seems heavier than the last one. You need to go down? You want to grab that knife? Kill it? Look at your hand. Set that coach down. Well, he's going to have to take a back seat. I'm going to go down there. I just can't hear you. I thought you were going down the way. Huh? I thought you were going down the way. Sorry, guys. Where do you want to go? Well, at least my way. hands are already oh, wet this time. Sakes. Oh, they were killing it on the way. Let's go down there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, babe. This one is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at the fin. All right, well, let's measure it real quick. Can you grab this so I can measure it real quick? Let me get down there. This is gorgeous. Oh. Not a fetch or at least it. You think he's good? Oh, he's no, under. He, no, he's 13. You got him bowed up. Yeah. He's got to go? Yeah, he's got to go back. All right. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and release this guy. All right, guys. No, oh, this water's so cold. We take him out in this hot weather. Yeah, shake his tail around. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Swimming over to the neighbor. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him over here. Over here, Sonny. Hey, come to Papa. Got him. Camera on? Yep. <laughs> One after another, Kelly. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, he's a big one. Is he? No. Here, bring the players. Oh, look at him. He's a fighter. You on? Flip him out over there since it's so shorter. No, I'm gonna break your pole. Yeah. 
Man, look at that fog coming over the water. Oh, there you go. Got him. Come on. Oh. He's not that big. He's just feisty. He's kind of long. Oh. Got. <laughs> you know what? My dad was too tight for him. Did you break the whole thing out? Yes, he did. He got you under a rock over there. <laughs> oh, this guy won't take it, but he's nibbling. Well, I'm sure he'll catch one on my pole while I'm gone. Oh, but I get one on my pole first. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, now you need a picture with him. Let me get give me this give me the clipper the lippers. Well he is pretty though. Poor. Oh give it drag, get it, let it give it that drag. He's a good one. Ah oh, too loose, too loose. Too loose. Yeah, it's funner that way, makes you like <laughs> Oh my god, is, did he get fouled? He seems like he's swimming sideways, huh? Uh oh, get away from there. Your drag is way too loose. Yeah, well, he freaked me out when he went for it. Okay. Where is he? Is this him up here? That looks like a good one. Here, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's a good snap. Eh, your drag is just loose. No, he's in the slot. Is he? Oh, yeah, he's in the slot. I think. <coughs> Got him. <coughs> oh, he feels good. Every cast, man, every cast. Every cast, that's right. Too bad my wife keeps breaking off my hooks whenever she takes the fish off. <laughs> Whoop. Right here, babe. Right here. Okay. I use my worm. Yep. That's in the slot. Oh, he's off. He's off. All right, let's, let's... And you got your hook. Yeah, let's do a release. Yeah, take some him out there. All right, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Listen, on. guy, you're going back. There he goes. Back to that log. Back to the log. All right guys, how awesome was that? So we literally, like, I don't know, 20, 30, like between the two of us, we definitely caught more than our limits, but we released. So um, we did keep, keep a couple that swallowed it, but um, this trip is awesome and it's only like the, you know, day one. So we're gonna try to get up early. We're gonna fish that spot again. Um, we, we didn't film every catch. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't film every catch. It was just like catch. one after another. It was just crazy. Um, but tomorrow, like I said, we're going to go ahead and try and fish that spot again for a couple hours in the morning. And then um, I think we're going to go try uh, somewhere up by War Eagle, which is further north on the White River. No. Mm -hmm. It's closer to Missouri. Isn't no. It? No. All right. Well, we're going to go over towards War Eagle, you guys. I don't, apparently I don't know where anything is. So that's going to be fun. I'm excited. Um, I was hoping that they would 
you know, hit on our jigging methods, but they didn't. We had to do wait and bait. But it, we really didn't wait that long. It was literally like three, five minutes sometimes between bites. Um, we couldn't um, keep our poles in the water long enough. We were both just fishing with one pole. So um, as soon as I got my tackle back in order and, you know, it was like we kept... You can only kept, use one pole. Yeah, you can only use one pole anyway. But, I mean, we, literally we wouldn't have been able to keep up if we had two poles apiece. So... Um, it was awesome guys. That's uh, like I said, that's the end of our day one here at um, the tailwaters of Beaver Lake So uh, we will see you guys in the morning